Hello friends in today's video we are going to talk about hypoglossal nerve palsy It is a purely motor nerve which supply the tongue Tongue has extrinsic and intrinsic muscles 12th nerve supplies the intrinsic muscles and all the extrinsic muscles of the tongue except the palatoglossal and possibly geniohyoid muscle The extrinsic muscles protrude and retract the tongue and move the root up and down while the intrinsic muscles change the length width the curvature of the dorsal length and turn the non protruded tongue from side to side The clinical examination of the tongue consists of evaluating the strength bulk and dexterity of the tongue tongue should be observed for weakness atrophy abnormal movements like fasciculations and impairment of rapid movements now observe this patient you can see there are tongue fasciculation while tongue is resting in the floor of the mouth motor power can be tested by having the patient press the tip against each cheek as the examiner tries to dislodge it with finger pressure the normal tongue is powerful and cannot be moved as you can see in this patient he is being asked to press the tip of the tongue against each cheek as the examiner tries to dislodge it with finger pressure The normal tongue is powerful and cannot be moved by the examiner. In a normal person, the posterior fibers of genioglossus draw the root of the tongue forwards and protrude the tip of the tongue to opposite side. When unilateral weakness is present, the tongue deviates towards the weak side on protrusion. This occurs because of the unopposed action of contralateral genioglossus. Now observe this patient. On being asked to protrude his tongue out, it deviates to the right side. So there is right sided 12th nerve palsy